Corner. The most common question I get in my schools is how can I generate more backspin on my short game shots? This is a great question because backspin is a critical component of essentially all short game shots around the greens. Having the correct amount of backspin is the only way to control the ball and get it to stop where you want it to. There are three keys to generating spin. First, you need a ball that wants to be spun. I've gone to the Strixon Z-Star because it has a urethane cover that's coated with spin skin, an even softer, super thin outer layer. Spin skin gives me the most backspin I've been able to generate around the greens. Second, you need a wedge with fresh, clean grooves and a high friction face. I use the 588 Rotex wedge. And lastly, you need to make clean contact between the club face and ball with a glancing and accelerating blow. Mud, grass, anything slippery between the ball and the face will minimize backspin. Now let's think about the concept of spin for a moment. To minimize spin, you want to hit a ball at its center, straight on. This moves the ball, but imparts no spin. To maximize the spin, you do the opposite. You deliver a glancing blow from a lofted face, which creates a lot of spin, but less forward movement. Now let's think about the same thing with this wedge and ball. The angle of this high lofted wedge forces you to deliver a glancing blow to the golf ball. That's why high lofted wedge shots spin more and fly shorter than lower lofted clubs. And that's all you need. Play with a spin skin covered urethane ball, use an aggressive wedge face, and get that club face cleanly on the ball with an accelerating blow through impact. You do that, and you'll see as much backspin on your shots as the USJ will allow. It.